Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Rich Desai, and on today's episode of Raise the Line, I'm really happy to have Dr. Brad Spellberg. He's the Chief Medical Officer at LA County USC Hospital, and he recently wrote a book uh, called Broken, Bankrupt, and Dying. It's about the healthcare industry, and uh, by the title, you can tell that there, he obviously has a very strong opinion on, on what we might need to fix with our healthcare system and with COVID-19 and all that's happening. I was really excited to have Brad on with me. So Brad, thanks for taking the time to join me uh, on the show. Thank you for having me. So, Brett, let's just dive right in. I mean, you're in the middle of L.A. County. We know that COVID-19 is rising across the country, and certainly in L.A. County, the state of California has put in new restrictions on L.A. County. What are you seeing as you walk around the hospital? We did not get hit by a New York-style surge where we just got suddenly overwhelmed out of the blue. But what we've seen is a steady week-after-week week rise in cases. That are key. It's sort of like boiling a frog where the temperature is incrementally going up bit by bit. And we are definitely feeling the strain at this point. Um, our staff are exhausted. The hospital is full of, we've had more COVID positives, I'm told, than any other hospital in LA County. And it's not slowing down. It's actually still speeding up. I'd love to get your advice to folks that are entering the healthcare space, new healthcare professionals. A lot of our listeners are students that are just starting their careers. What would you say to them as they're entering this very uh, unusual time? Yeah, so I'm not going to lie, it's exhausting. Um, I'm exhausted. Everybody I work with is exhausted. The flip side is, you know, it's very gratifying work. Um, you know, I, I come to the hospital every day, as I suspect you do as well, with heroes who go towards the danger, not away from it. If we remember our training, if we wash our hands, if we wear our personal protective equipment properly, if we physically distance, we can stay safe. And there are multiple studies now that have come out that have showed that the attack rate of the virus in healthcare workers overall is lower than in the population around them because we have the training and the access to the PPE. So if we remember our training, and we use our equipment properly and physically distance, we can do our job safely. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raise the Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.